Hello, Justice Good here, and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to selectively use motion blur to add motion to your photos. So first thing you want to do is right-click, duplicate your layer. And on this new layer, go to Layer, Layer Mask, Hide All. Now let's forget about this layer for a second and go back to our original layer. On this, go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur. Now here, remember, you can adjust the angle and the distance however you like, depending on which way your object is moving. Of course, mine is simply moving directly horizontal at an angle of zero, so I'm going to leave it at that. You can also create a large distance for a large blur or a smaller distance. You don't want to create too much of a blur, so I'm just going to stick with something around 30 for this up-close image. Once you've selected your settings that you're happy with, go back to your layer with the layer mask and click on the black layer mask. Now with the solid white selected, grab a soft round brush. If you cannot see this menu, click on that little arrow and reset your brushes and it should pop up. So select the brush with the zero hardness and we're going to use a size of about 100 pixels. Depending on your object, you can adjust it. If your object has lots of small little limbs, then make the brush smaller. So I'm using 125 here, and you're just going to brush white into the layer mask. This is going to reveal the original image, which wasn't blurred. So continue on all the way throughout your image. Now once it gets down to some of these smaller body parts like his legs that are separated, I can go ahead and choose a smaller brush and work with it there. And a shortcut you can use is the bracket key. The left bracket will automatically decrease your brush size and the right bracket will increase it again. So that's what I'm using here so I don't have to go to the menu. Just tap the bracket key a few times and get the details. Remember you can be as detailed as you want here. The more detailed the better the image. Sometimes you can get away with a quick soft erase. But once you're happy with this that's pretty much your final image and you can continue editing it whatever way you like but you have successfully added motion. A little trick you can do is command I on the layer mask and invert it. That's just a different effect. Um, now we have the foreground blurred. But if you want to keep it how it was, just invert it again with Command I, and there's your final result. If you like this tutorial, please check out my channel for more, and please subscribe for future tutorials. Thank you.